We've got something right up above us right now. You heard that, Tim? Yeah, I heard that. Okay. This is fascinating. You know where they are. We've got knocking. We've lost sound. sound. I mean, I'm getting much colder. Uh -huh. about to see is not fiction. Today, one third of Americans believe in the supernatural. And in Britain, more people believe in ghosts than in God. From old hotels, to notorious prisons, to medieval castles, to cemeteries and ancient burial grounds. Everywhere you go, there are places that claim to be haunted. So do ghosts exist? I think all those people that believe it are all high, man. They're just stinky things. I gotta have something happen to me to believe it. <laughs> basically, a ghost can be a deceased person. The energy would basically linger on Earth, thus causing hauntings. The spirits don't have an energy source the way physical bodies do. So they may be able to organize energy which is present into a signal. We can actually go in the room, turn on this device, and have a physical conversation back and forth with spirits. Was this your lover? One of these women, your lover? If you go searching for ghosts, they can drive you to the point of insanity. There is that idea that God requires blood. The history of the house is so dark that neighborhood kids walk on the other side of the street. There may be good spirits out there, but there's also evil spirits out there. Has there been witchcraft associated with this house? Is there something evil here? It looked like somebody that was like, that was what in shadow or something. I got this image that you might have pissed somebody off. I can feel I'm being drained. I gotta get, yeah, I gotta get up. It's a little girl. Let it go. There's something really bad gonna happen. I'm kind of scared. Can any of you come towards me? I'm not gonna hurt anyone.